I think just as we all grow up, um, and I think we all discover this maybe on our, in our, on our own terms, hopefully we all do discover this, but we all discover it on our own, our own terms, uh, on our own timeline, it's just, it's just easiest to be yourself. Um, you know, there's, there's no replacement for you and there's no problem with the way you are. Um, so just kind of, just, just, just do that. There's no, there's no need to, to try to emulate other people. And, and certainly, um, having said that, there's, that's, that's not saying that I didn't look at other people and say, hey, what are they doing? What makes them good? What makes them succeed? Um, what can I take from that? But it's not like, oh, this guy, um, you know, oh, Michael Phelps, I want to be the next Michael Phelps. You know, that's, that's not something that I would ever do. It's like, what does Michael do in between races? How, is he, how does he succeed in so many different ways? Um, and, and I maybe try that. And, uh, you know, if that's successful for me, then I take it. If it didn't work so well for me, then I, you know, just leave it. Just to pick a few, 2008 I made the team uh, when I wasn't necessarily slated to. Uh, I think that was really important for me to just kind of say, hey, you know what, I don't care what, what other people expect from me. Um, let's, let's go ahead and, and do this on our own terms. 2011 actually I learned the same lesson over again but in the opposite way in that I had a lot of expectations on top of me um, but I did not perform and then I had to you know I had to kind of step back and be like okay like yeah I, I did let that pressure get to me like you need to like kind of turn all that stuff off turn the externalities off like don't don't read the, the swimming news or sporting news um, you know just kind of do your own thing. Uh, 2012 you know winning obviously that was hugely important backing up 2011 we won NCAAs with my team. Um, that meant a lot to me because those, those to this day are still my best friends. Um, and then 2016, I mean, it's just, it's hard not to mention your third Olympics and, and knowing that it was a completely different journey and that I'm at a different point in my life. I was at a different place. Um, it was with different people. Um, you know, all those different factors are really relevant uh, to my experience. Just. I think I think swimming, I think sport in general, or you know, a lot of extracurriculars, um, they they really teach you the idea that what you get out of it is what you put in, um, and I think that's just a life lesson that's absolutely valuable, um, and you know, that's something that you can take with you for the rest of your life. So, um, you know, that's that's something that's that I think is important. Staying motivated has never been a problem for me. Well, maybe a little bit when I was in high school, but. Since then, um, it's it's just always about getting better. Uh, like I was like I was kind of talking about before, it's always about getting getting out what you put in. And at this point, it's kind of like a fun experiment because I mean I'm a little bit older. People don't know exactly how to train older athletes. They just kind of have an idea. So I'm at a point now where I can kind of experiment. I can talk to different coaches. I can talk to different trainers. See what they did. Um, you know, see what we do. Com compare and see how you know I feel we could do things better. Um, and then, you know, eventually I, I plan on sharing that knowledge with the next generation of swimmers who plan on swimming to my age um, and then hopefully making their experience that much better. So, like I look, at, I look at different people for different reasons and, you know, a guy like Michael Phelps for his intensity, his competitive nature, his drive, um, you know, someone like my parents for just being constantly supportive and, and showing me the love that you know, that they showed me without any sort of pressure. I think that was a very special balance that they, they somehow found, and I think they found it very naturally. Um, you know, some of my other friends for their just, their drive, I mean, they're, they're, doing, they're doing great things. Um, you know, some of them are still in school, in medical school, or, you know, getting their PhD or their, their postdoc. It's, it's just incredible. I think that I'm surrounded by a lot of amazing people and try to take a little bit from, from each one of them. I had surgery on my shoulder, that was a bummer. <laughs> um, I think injuries are, are typically, you know, uh, an athlete's worst enemy. Um, but uh, again, you kind of tackle it with the same, you know, the same mentality that you tackle your sport. Um, you know, I was, I was investing in myself, I was, in, again, investing in my nutrition, my rest, um, going to physical therapy, making sure I'm doing all my exercises. These are all the kinds of things that, you know, sport teaches you is that you know, I, you have to be diligent on these kinds of things and you can have the best possible outcome. Hobbies. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I like to go body surfing a little bit. I like to play a little bit of golf. I need to do things that, that step me out of my comfort zone, uh, that kind of refresh my body, my mind. Um, so, you know, it's easy to just put on the same sweats and, 
and go swimming every day. <laughs> uh, but you know, enjoying the the life of living in the city, you know, having a nice dinner, dressing up for it, um, you know, those kinds of things.